Xiaomi recently launched these new super base wireless headphones for 1800 rupees. Now, as the name states, they're supposed to deliver superior bass on a budget. But do they? Well, let's take a close look today, shall we? Hey guys, Ash here, you're watching C4Retech. Let's get started. So first, let's start with the build quality. These headphones, they're made entirely out of plastic and you can adjust the headband size. Now, that helps you make it a better fit, but the use of plastic, it is both a pro as well as a con at the same time. The con part is that these headphones, they don't feel solid. They don't feel like a premium pair of cans. And well, at 1800 rupees, you can't really expect them to. But given it's Xiaomi, we've kind of expected the impossible from Xiaomi all the time because they do offer great quality products at, you know, unreal budgets. Now, on the other hand, the 150 gram weight does not amount to much. It's spread evenly, so they are comfortable to wear. That is, as long as you like the on-ear headphone design. Me personally, I prefer over-the-ear headphones. I'm okay with on-ear. I don't dislike it or anything, but if I had to choose, I just find over-the-ear headphones a lot more comfortable. Now, that's not to say the Mi Super Bass is uncomfortable. Far from it. There's ample padding on the band. There is also good cushioning on the ear cups themselves. One time I listened to music on this all morning and I didn't find it uncomfortable at all. And it's the 400 milliampere battery inside that actually lets you go this long in the first place. Xiaomi claims these can last up to 20 hours on a single charge, but realistically expect about 14 to 15 hours at max volume. Now, while that is impressive for a pair of cans that are this light, for charging, the Mi Super Bass does use a micro USB port. I would have liked Type C, but again, at this price for an accessory, I'm not gonna complain. Now, there is also an aux port here. So if you do run out of charge, you can always use these as a pair of regular wired headphones. It doesn't need power to run it this way, uh, but when you use it with the aux cable, these keys, they do end up becoming useless. You don't really get any use out of them. On the flip side though, you don't get any latency either when you game. Via Bluetooth, there is a very slight latency if you're gaming, like with most Bluetooth headsets. So if you're serious about gaming, you might be better off sticking to wired headsets. But for the casual gamer, this shouldn't be an issue. Now since I mentioned the buttons to the sides, let's take a closer look at them. There are three. They aren't very clicky and finding them, pressing them, it takes a little getting used to. First, the volume up and down keys. When you long press them, they double as track skip keys. So you can skip forwards or backwards without having to pull your phone out, which is a good little pro. I really love that. This is one of my biggest pet peeves with the air dots, the fact that you can't really skip tracks. Now you can still launch voice assistant. That is also a functionality that's present here. For that, you just need to double press the power button. Also long pressing the power button lets you pair it, turn on and off. Short press lets you attend or end calls or pause and play. It's all pretty easy to figure out. It's quite intuitive. So all that's great, you know, but these are headphones. So let's talk about how they sound. These headphones have 40 millimeter drivers and they sound really good. They are, well, as the name indicates, quite bassy. But even when listening to music that's not bass heavy, they sounded good to me. Like I've said in many videos in the past, I'm not an audiophile, nor do I claim to be one. But as a common consumer, I like the sound signature of the Mi Super Bass. The output was clean, the vocals were clear, the bass was good. And thanks to Bluetooth 5.0, the range was pretty good too. I didn't once experience any drop in connectivity in all the time that I used it. And that said, there is no multi-device connectivity option either and that is a bit of a con here. Now as far as calling goes, given I had a problem with that with the Redmi Air Dots, I'm happy to say that I didn't experience any such issues here. Xiaomi has a microphone located on the right ear cup and it works reasonably well. At most times, I was able to take calls with these headphones on. Of course, they don't sound as good as headphones with dedicated noise cancellation, but calls were more or less fine as long as there wasn't a lot of ambient noise. Talking about noise cancellation, this one doesn't have it, but given how loud it gets, you're hardly gonna hear what's happening on the outside while using these. It is worth pointing out that the on-ear design does lead to some sound leakage and people around you can hear what you're listening to. So yeah, that's always there. So anyway, in conclusion, 
With the Mi Superbass wireless headphone, Xiaomi has again put together another amazing value for money proposition. At 1800 rupees, it can be an impulse buy for a lot of potential buyers. And if you do end up buying this one, I'm sure you're not gonna regret it. These are a good pair of wireless headphones for the price. So that's my take. Now it's your turn to tell me what do you feel about them? Love them, hate them, you don't really care. Let me know. And with that, it is time I bid you adieu. Please do subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.